telemedicine is the way of the future. That's right, guys. We can service you anywhere in the country nationwide through telemedicine, FaceTime, Skype. We will take care of you guys. Our pharmacies ship directly to your doorstep. Whether you're at your home, your office, or in your vehicle, Titan Medical Center can help you. So contact us today, 727-389-3220, and check out titanmedicalcenter.com. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Today, I just wanted to touch base with you all on a couple of our immune system function therapies that we offer that are vitamin and amino acids, one of which is glutathione, which is a really potent antioxidant, which is great for detoxing the liver, boosting your overall immune system, and lowering inflammation in the body. We all naturally have glutathione in our body, but it can naturally be depleted. So it's a really great protection, especially for all this crud that's going around right now. Uh, we have that by itself, or we also have it compounded in another therapy called Nectar of the Gods. Nectar of the Gods is going to have your glutathione. In addition to that, it's also going to have your L-arginine, which is a vasodilator, which will also help improve circulation in the body and blood flow. You also have proline and lysine, which are collagen boosters. Those are going to help support fibrous tissues like your tendons and ligaments. And in addition to that, lysine does also have some really good antiviral properties as well, which is also great for the immune system. In addition, you also have taurine and N-acetylcysteine, which are also amino acids. Those are also great for boosting your immune system function as well, getting rid of any oxidative stress and lowering free radicals. Glutamine is going to help prevent any delayed onset muscle soreness as well as boost your immune system. And then L-carnitine as well, which is going to help mobilize fat and cholesterols in your body, which can also aid in fat loss. As I'm sure you can tell how beneficial all of these ingredients are to these therapies, if you are interested, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, 727-389-3220. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon. Hey, what's up family? I'm Jonathan Price. I'm a sponsored Titan Medical athlete. I wanted to let you guys know the benefits of Titan Medical and why I think you should join our team. Um, I used to be an athlete my entire life, always been in the gym, but never really saw the results I wanted to see and I never knew why. Uh, it wasn't until I got my blood work done through Titan that I could really see my imbalances as far as my hormone levels, my cholesterol was off. There's a lot of things going on inside of me that I wasn't able to perform at my optimal levels. But when I met John and Sharice and I became on the team, uh, they got me to get my blood levels checked. I got everything balanced out. Cholesterol came down. I got more on my diet and my nutrition. And I gotta tell you, as far as the results, being a father, working a full-time job, not having a lot of extra time for myself, I've definitely seen a lot of amazing results as a performer, as an athlete, and also as a family man. So if you're feeling a little bit down, if you need a little bit extra help, if you wanna get on your optimal levels and just be overall a healthier, happier version of yourself, I highly recommend call Titan Medical up, get on our team. I'm living proof, because two years ago, I completely fell off the wagon. 30 extra pounds of fat, didn't even want to work out anymore, low energy, low testosterone, just wasn't feeling like myself. And I got to tell you today, I feel like I'm 18 again. So definitely do yourself a favor, give Titan a call and come join our team. It's my pleasure talking to you guys. Have a blessed day. Hey guys, John here from Titan. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. And today we want to talk to you about how easy it is to become a patient and get Titan Medical Center therapies. It's real simple and a real easy process. Couldn't make it any easier. Now, do you guys remember the old school way of medicine where you call up your doctor's office, hey, I need to come in for this, that, and the other. You get scheduled, go there, drive all the way to the office, go sit in the lobby after you sign in. You might be sitting there watching some TV, hanging out, watching all the patients in the lobby that they're also hanging out, and then wait maybe 20 or 30 minutes if you're lucky. And then after that, you have a medical assistant or a nurse bring you back and they work you up, do your vitals, put you in a room, and then you wait another 20 or 30 minutes um, for the doctor, nurse practitioner, or PA to come in and answer your questions and be able to address any concerns you might have. Now, at that point, you're only really spending, because if we really count the minutes here, maybe a minute to five minutes with that provider. So, you know, patient care is very important to us. So, John, Tell me how easy it is and how we cut out all these steps. So it's real simple and real easy. All you guys would have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We can send you the new patient paperwork or you can go right to our website, 
TitanMedicalCenter.com, click on the tab of new patient paperwork, and you're gonna fill out the new patient paperwork. You're gonna get it back to us with ease. You can fill it out on your phone, your tablet, your desktop. Once we get that new patient paperwork, we're gonna call you and schedule you for the time to see the medical provider. So at that point, you could do it in the comfort of your home. You could do it in your car. You could do it at your job, at your lunch break, wherever is most convenient for you. At that point, when you see the medical provider and they go over all your new patient paperwork or your labs or whatever it is, then they can make the recommendation of what therapies can be the best for you. They can answer all your questions in the comfort of your own home. And at that point, after that, that script will go into the pharmacy and the pharmacy will ship directly to your doorstep. You don't have to go nowhere. It's that simple and that easy. Now this is on a Skype or FaceTime and it's recorded and put in your permanent file for you. So everything is done with ease, super, super, super simple. We try to make it simple anyway, but this is the easy steps to become a patient here. And this is how you can get our injectable vitamins, our injectable aminos. We have peptides, we have anti-aging therapies, we have weight loss therapies. We have all different kinds of therapies just depending on your specific needs. Don't forget those libido enhancers, guys and girls, because everybody likes those. We can also help you out with blood work by setting you up anywhere in the country with a lab right in your zip code. We send you the slip, you go in with the slip, they draw your blood, we get the results in three to four business days, call you and get you scheduled and get you guys hooked up. You know, it hasn't been this simple ever to do and we wanna make it as most convenient for you guys out there and that's why Titan Medical Center service is nationwide. That means with any state that you're in, we can help you out from the comfort of your own home, office, or vehicle. So guys, if you want to sign up as a patient, please give us a call or text 727-389-3220 or you can go directly to the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, click the new patient paperwork tab, fill out the new patient paperwork, we'll get it automatically and then we'll get you scheduled up so you can feel better, look better, and perform better with Titan Medical Center. Become part of the Titan Medical Center family today. Hey guys, thank you for joining us on another episode of Cupid's Corner on our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., please join us, especially right now with everybody in isolation and quarantine and lockdown. You guys will probably benefit from these tips more than ever. And you might even be going through some of these situations that we talk about here, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you and let's get into it right away. All right, so the first one is learning your partner's hot buttons and not using those hot buttons against your partner. So when you're in a relationship with somebody, you will obviously learn more about that person than the next, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be around them, you'll be spending more time with them, and you will learn certain things that are their hot buttons. These are buttons that you push that might get a reaction out of them. Beep. Might be a good reaction, might be an angry <laughs> reaction. So the point of this is, is when you find out what makes your partner tick as far as these hot buttons, mm -hmm. don't use these hot buttons against them. So if you know it makes somebody upset, you're not gonna keep bringing up whatever that you know topic was or whatever they did over and over and over because you're ultimately gonna get your partner very angry at you and that can cause a breakup or problems or issues or fighting that you guys don't wanna deal with, mm -hmm. right? You don't wanna bring up something, especially usually it's about their history or something they've done in the past that you shared in a moment where you guys are talking about something and opening up to one another and you guys' barriers are put down. So don't do that because then it's gonna prevent your partner from sharing future things with you. You're not gonna be able to learn every little detail. I mean, me and John have been together for what? 12 years and yep. I'm still learning things about him you know I mean obviously there's always something to learn about your partner but you got to make sure you don't use it against them because then they're not gonna want to tell you anything else and then obviously you don't get all the juicy stuff anymore you know yeah I mean the trust that's yeah. kind of where it was people are more timid or, or they're less 
you know, inept to tell, inept you. To tell you exactly mm -hmm. what's going to go on or what happened to them possibly in the past or bad relationship or something that's happened to them that gets a rise out of them. And you know if that's that, that button you push because you'll know right away. I mean, their face will turn a, a, a different expression. Mm -hmm. They get angry. They might yell. They might treat you a different way. They might go in silent mode. This will turn them off. And you don't want that. You want your partner to be open to you. You want them to share these things with you so you can learn from each other and you guys know how each other ticks. Right. And you guys will ultimately be on the same brainwaves and be able to think the exact same or talk about the exact same. Me and Sharice do it all the time. Yeah. You know, somebody will bring up a conversation or they'll ask us a question you know, to both of us and we both immediately respond with the exact so same weird. answer. So weird. And you know, she copies me because I'm older, right? Uh -huh. So I've been here longer than she has. So sure. she copies me, but sure. you know, we'll just let that go. So, <laughs> <laughs> but this comes down to the fact like I don't use things against Sharice that may maybe happened in her past or something that's happened to her. You know, everybody goes through their own trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. and that's life. That's experience, that's being on this earth. You know, some experiences are very good, some experiences are very bad, but we've all been through some sort of trauma in our lives. Mm -hmm. And you don't wanna bring that trauma up or use that trauma against people. It's a form of like, you know, of like- Abuse? You, abuse, I mean, you know, you're mentally abusing your partner if you keep doing it over and over and over again. Or emotionally abusing your partner. Emotionally, you know, and, and they don't they don't trust you or they, they might think that you're gonna use this against them or you see them in a different light. Mm -hmm. Nobody Judge wants, them. Nobody wants their partner to think don't. that they're judging them. Do it. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to be looked down upon from something that they may have done in their past or something that may have happened to them. That, and it could have been a mistake in their past too, you know, and yeah. they learned from it. They shared it with you because yeah. they're opening up to you. Yeah. But you don't want to judge them because that seems to happen often. Yes. They tell you about something and all of a sudden you look at them differently. Yes. And I mean, I guess you can't take it back once you tell somebody something. Right. So, you know, that's it's it. this is a big tip. This is a big yes. one you gotta follow. Yes, definitely hold it close to yourself. You know, hold it close to your heart. You know, put yourself in their shoes. What if that would have happened to you? Would you like that? I'm sure you have your own hot buttons. Okay, something always gets a rise out of somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's you know somebody talking bad about you, somebody talking bad about your family, somebody doing something against you that may remember. You might remember, hey, this happened to me in the past, and it's just automatically gets a rise out of you and get upset. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where these hot buttons come to play. So don't use it against your partner and don't push those buttons. If anything, you want to be there to support your partner, yep. to help them through the things that possibly could have happened in the past or traumatize them mm -hmm. or something that they don't like or something that, that happened. So that's step number one. Do not look down on your partner and make sure that you're not pressing these hot buttons on your partner to get a rise out of them. I've seen a lot of people do this, and couples, you know, girls and guys both, um, where you know they, they don't like something that happened, so they automatically know what's gonna really get a rise out of that person, and they just attack and push that hot button, push it, push Listen, it, push it. I used to do this to John when we first got together. I used to do it to him all the time. I'm not even gonna lie, I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah. I used to do it to him all the time. See, I've been we abused, guys. <laughs> right, this big old guy. <laughs> Not See, size doesn't matter okay. here. Size doesn't matter in size, this situation. Size does not matter. But, you know, we would get in an argument. Now, this you learn from it, and this is right. why we're still together and we're happy because you learn from it and don't do it no more. But, right. you know, when we first got together, I would just, man, I would just be like, nin, 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 until he would just blow up. I would just do it over and over. Just, nin, 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 nin. Yeah. I'd find it and then dig and dig. And just. I'm good at doing that. Listen, if you feel that your partner is pushing those hot buttons, right, or you're pushing those hot buttons on your partner, the best thing to do is open up and talk about it. Yeah. Tell them how you feel and how it affects you. You know, if they don't get it at that point, that might not be a good partner for Communication. you. Communication. Okay? We've covered this in previous Cupid's Corners. Communication is key in any situation, whether it be business or your love relationship or your relationship with your child or your friend, communication is key. Now you don't have to have that harsh communication with them or that harsh truth all the time, but when it comes to situations of them pushing your button or vice versa, talk about it and let them know how you feel. If they really love you and they really care, they'll take into consideration that they won't do it as much or any more. Mm -hmm. You know, eventually it will go away. And I, I think we've got to the point in our relationship where we don't really push each other's buttons like that. You know, and we don't have those fights or, you know, those arguments or those different things. Communication is key. We talk about it. I think you'll get over things faster. You know, some people, they do the shutdown thing. They do the silent thing. I'm not talking to this person. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. that can make things even worse. Yeah. So don't play the silent role either. At least communicate because your partner has no idea what you're thinking, okay? They're, they don't have the exact same brain. They might not have been with them as long as me and Sharice together. So we, they don't we, have a crystal ball. You know, they don't have a crystal ball. So you definitely want, want to express how you feel. If uh, you need to write it down too, you guys can write it. Yeah. You can write it to your partner. Yeah. Think about that too. People That's write letters. One. They can write it down because they don't know how to communicate. Or sometimes they might try to communicate it to you yep. and then it comes across a little abrasive. Yep. Um, so maybe you're not good at communicating that particular aspect. So if that's the case, you can always write it down, write a letter, write them something so that you're expressing yourself to them. And maybe it comes across a little different in writing versus talking to them face to face. And maybe possibly put a solution together, a, a, a call to action, a, a mm -hmm. game plan, right? And you guys follow that game plan together and you guys will benefit your relationship. And you guys will get a lot stronger by doing this. I promise you. Okay. And you might not always agree on things. And that's a whole different subject, mm -hmm. you know, but then that comes compromise. And we've talked about this before too. So just take in consideration, don't push the hot buttons, right? And don't let them be pushed against you. Uh, that's not right. The next thing is be respectful of your partner's health issues. If they have any health issues. So right now, obviously there's people that are quarantined or people that are sick, but there's other people that have other health issues. So to give an example, Sharice has endometriosis, mm -hmm. right? That's something that's invisible to the naked eye. If you've seen somebody and they were battered in the face or the bruised or lost limbs or, you know, something's gone that you can visually see, you're more than apt to give them uh, more empathy, uh, more consideration as far as, you know, caring and stuff like that because you can see the physical abuse or what's going on. Mm -hmm. But when it's inside somebody and they're trying their best not to show the pain or what's really going on, it's really not in your mind. It's not really there. So you're like, well, nothing's wrong with you. Look, you're you walking around. Yeah. You, you look great. You know, so, you know, the, what's wrong with you? Are, you? are you making this excuse up? You know, a lot of time, these people are not making these excuses up. They really have the pain or the problem. And this could go for a guy for his prostate. Let's say he may have prostate cancer, may have to remove his prostate, right? This takes, you know, this is a, is a very serious surgery that can affect the guy's bedroom performance. Right. Okay, and, and that's a part of things, you know, and for a female, the exact same thing with endometriosis. It feels like basically you're getting your insides ripped out. And uh, I've dealt with this for yeah. 12 years with When shoes. I first met John, it was, you know, something that I had to bring up to him because, it, you know, obviously the bedroom is mostly affected. Not yeah. just that, but I mean, relationship too, because yeah. I can be in pain. And if you're in a lot of pain, I mean, me personally, I have to go to work. I got to do stuff. So I have to put a smile on my face. So regardless if my, you know, pain on a one to 10 scale is a 15, it doesn't matter because I still need to do what I have to do. Right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm still smiling and I don't always share it with him because I mean, it's kind of redundant to talk about, but it's so important to be understanding about it because you might be in a bad mood because you're in pain. You know, think about if you hurt your shoulder. Let's say you were in a bad car accident and let's say that you broke something or you um, have a torn ligament or whatever it is and you're in a lot of pain, right? You might not be in the best mood ever. So you got, you're, you got to understand that about your partner and sometimes it's hard to do if it's not like visible to the right. eye. Right. And try to chill them up. Try to do things that help them or, or make them feel more comfortable about the situation. Mm -hmm. Don't let, don't make them feel bad for them being unhealthy or something that's going wrong with them as far as that goes. So if you try and this goes back to like pushing hot buttons, using reverse psychology on your partner and making them feel bad because, you know, let's say, you know, you, you do want to have bedroom pleasure and your partner is physically not able to do it or is in a lot of pain, you know, that that's another form of, of, of abuse to a certain extent or putting this on them and making them feel bad about it. They shouldn't have to feel bad because they have a health issue. Mm -hmm. That's something that's out of their hands. And I, 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 I would I would suspect that most people don't want to have health issues. That's not their choice. Yeah. They didn't say, you know what? I want to have endometriosis today. I'll elect me. I want to have prostate cancer. <laughs> you know, I, I want to have this physical problem wrong with me where I can't do this. You know, right. listen, I've said this once, I've said it again. Everybody likes bedroom, whether you're asexual, bisexual, heterosexual, right? Everybody enjoys that part of life. Mm -hmm. It's a part of life, okay? This is what God put us on the planet to do, right? <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So I agree. Everybody, everybody enjoys <laughs> enjoys that part of life. So, you know, I don't think that somebody wants to you know, turn that off. Now, could somebody use it as an excuse? Possibly, you know, even in our early relationship, you know, I never dated a girl that had endometriosis. Mm -hmm. 
So when we got into the relationship, Sharice kind of told me about this and said she's one of the worst cases her doctor ever seen. Like he had know, to go through a couple surgeries with me. It was so in my mind, see. you know, and, and you know, it was there for consideration factors. But when you talk to the doctor and the doctor says, "Hey, listen, this is one of the most like advanced cases I've ever seen," and then she has to go through surgery after surgery after surgery to do this and, and get this scar tissue removed and stuff like that, yeah. you know, there's like a two week downtime, you know, and that's. You know, that, that's going to affect some different things. So, you know, that's where you have to be caring. You have to take in consideration. And if you really love your partner, you'll be by their side and support them through this again. That's really what it comes down to. I think you really see who you love and who you don't. Yeah. Because It'll actions always speak louder than words. You know what, though? Flip it around, though. I'm going to flip it because obviously we're in the situation. But if you love your partner and let's say you have some sort of prostate issue, there's something that's affecting erections for males right mm -hmm. or and it's a health issue it could be a health issue that's doing mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um same thing for females there's other ways to try to pleasure your partner right. there's a hundred other ways to right. do it so i mean be creative and try to think about other ways that you can pleasure your partner without physically hurting yourself okay and then this is where the mental you know connection does come into play yeah. the most so yeah, so mental love and physical love. Mental love is always going to be there. It's always going to be stronger than physical love. It it tests the you know the, the true test of time with love, right? Mental love will always be there and will always be stronger than physical love. You know, physical love comes and goes, but mental love is always going to be there, especially if that's your partner and true partner. You guys are going to connect on a mental level, and and that is the fork in itself. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people connect on a mental level and mental love. That thing, that's what I think people lack today people think it's all about physical love mm -hmm. you have all these apps and everything out there where people meet and hook up well that's that's there and gone right and after that what do you do yeah, are you guys going to talk are you guys going to have the same ambitions are you guys going to have the same likes to do different things together physical only goes so far physical only goes so far <laughs> and it happens all the time right you see like you know i, I know some of my friends right oh i was with the hottest girl right and you know it, it came and went and at that point man i wanted that girl out of my bed like 15 minutes after we were done <laughs> man this girl was just like dumb as a box of rocks and i've heard it both ways like you know, like even, even girls about guys, like, oh man, this, this guy was a total douche or whatever like that. I had a great time for the 20 minutes or 30 minutes, but I can't see myself around this person all the time. And that's really, really comes down to if the physical love is taking out, right? And this is old time. So old time, like there was virgins and stuff like that. And people would not have uh, uh, sex until they were married. So there was a mental uh, stimulation and mental connection with couples. And that's why before couples really did stay together for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. Now divorce is so rapid and rampant out there that at that point, listen, it's over 50%, I think, of divorce rate right now. Mm -hmm. um, and probably even higher than that. And that's because they have no mental connection and it's so easy to go get a physical connection with somebody else mm -hmm. that they're out the door easy way out and then once you break that trust with your partner maybe cheating on them or doing whatever and you know it just it moves them into a mental place of not wanting to trust you and not wanting to be with you mm -hmm. and that physical aspect is gone then you know that physical aspect might be shut down in their brain because women are more mentally stimulated than physically stimulated where guys are more physically stimulated than mentally stimulated True. women okay so you have to have that connection with them especially with your partner and this if you have mental and physical stimulation man if you have mental it makes physical better you've hit a home run i mean you, you've knocked it out of the park then at that point you keep up with the maintenance of it and the maintenance of it is is constantly mentally stimulating them like you know like giving them compliments you know it doesn't have to be every day but you know it, giving them the mental compliments you know and saying oh, baby i love you you look so beautiful today right giving them a kiss maybe when you come home it doesn't have to be a full physical in engorgement uh, right. arousal it doesn't have to be flowers every day but, you know it doesn't have to be that but literally like giving them a kiss like hey honey i missed you today this will go a long way I guarantee it, okay? And these are just some of the things that me and Sharice practice, you know, daily. So I guarantee you guys put this in your day-to-day -day routine and you guys will probably have a stronger, better relationship and the physical part of it will probably be a lot better if you have the mental part of it, okay? So yeah. that is number two, all right? Be respectful to your partner and to their health issues. The third one, be kind to each other. 
and to your neighbors, but especially each other. Right now, we're in this corona crisis of isolation and lockdown, and people are actually together more than probably they like to be, <laughs> more than they're used to be, because people are on different schedules most of the time. Right. They're not like me and Sharice, where we wake up and we're together 24-7. Mm -hmm. We're together here, we're together at the house. We really don't spend too much time apart. Mm -hmm. But a lot of couples, that is totally different. They each have their own job. They go do their job. Sometimes they have different hours of working. Some people have morning shifts. Some people have night shifts. They hardly get to see each other. So right now, when they're in the exact same house and whether it's locked down or sheltered in or whatever it is, you know, they're next to each other pretty much now 24 seven. They're with their kids. They're with their wife or loved one or significant other, and they might be getting sick of them. So, you know, if that's happening, you guys need to find some sort of common ground so you guys enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it's about, and respecting each other. Some people are not showing each other respect that they should. If you respected your partner, you know, respect is earned. Mm -hmm. But respect not has to be that. given to be given back, right? So you have to respect your partner. If your partner's not respecting you, you need to sit them down and say, listen, I feel disrespected, and give them the examples. Mm -hmm. Don't make them very trivial ones, okay? But just make them important ones that really, really do affect you. And this comes back to the hot buttons. Some of these ways that, that partners talk to each other, per se, this might create a hot button. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't feel that you, you know, you're doing this right or you're disrespecting me. You're, you're going over my head. An example is, is you know, parenting, right? So you tell your kid, hey, listen, you're gonna do online training today. And then the next person, the other parent says, oh, you don't have to do that. Don't worry about it, go play video games. Mm -hmm. And then you go back to them like, listen, I, I want Johnny or Susie or Pete to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the other part, well, it doesn't matter. You know, we're, we're on break or isolation. We don't have to worry about Not this. On the same page. Don't worry about it. And then this creates, this creates, uh, you know, a fight or an argument between the couple. Listen, I said this, I want you to back me on this. We talked about this before being on the same page, but it's really a respect thing and respecting your partner. Um, you know, and respecting your partner also, you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing by them. Um, so if it's, you know, a decision that you guys have to make together, like serious decision, maybe it's some spending money because financial burden, it, 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 that's a, one of the biggest arguments that comes across on couples and they fight about it. And this is, this is across the nation, mm -hmm. you know, so this is one thing you guys really have to be cautious about. So make sure whatever important decision it is, bring to your partner, respect them, ask them what their opinion is of it. Because if you're in it together and you guys are truly partners, you'll care what their opinion is on that and you'll take it into consideration before you guys make that final in call. In it to win it together. In it to win it together, not separately. If you're thinking about separately, you guys should, probably shouldn't be You guys together. have half the power when you guys are separate. Yep. So remember, when you guys combine forces, you guys are a much stronger force. Yes. So be that strong force. Be that superhero together. Right? Dun, 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 dun. Use those superpowers as a relationship, as a power couple. Don't let people get in the way of you. Respect your partner. Make sure that you're doing all the right things. You know, make sure that you are learning about your partner's hot buttons and don't use those hot buttons against them. So I think that's pretty much about it for the Corona Crisis Isolation Cupid's Corner Edition. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be here every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC, and we'll also post this to social media. So thank you guys for all your support. If you guys have any questions or you guys want us to cover a topic, please DM us, call us, let us know, and we'll be happy to cover it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you soon.